my friends, Bearski here. Today I'll be showing you how to downgrade Beat Saber and how to play custom songs on Beat Saber. To do this, you will need to install SideQuest if you need help or you need a guide to do that. Go to this timestamp in the video. It'll go over how to do this. Uh, the way I did it was through a PC and using an iPhone. The phone's not important, but for that guide, you will need a PC. So, so to begin, make sure you have Beat Saber installed. Assuming that you oh, that you did install SideQuest, go to Unknown Sources, go to SideQuest, go to the search magnifier at the top right here, type in Quest. You're looking for this guy right here, Quest Apt version switch. Download and install that. Once done, go back to unknown sources, find the Quest app version switcher. You will get some prompts that says that you will have to sign in and verify your MetaQuest account. The default is Beat Saber modding. Just go ahead and hit start. It will download the game. Once it's download, hit the mod my game. All right, we are just gonna speed this up by 10 times. Okay, now that the lower version has been installed, hit the install game. You can read through the process. Okay, for from here you need to hit the start uninstall. There's the prompt. Okay. Continue. Hit close on the restore app. Go to the ground attack. It defaults to the one that you're that you need to use. Click on use this folder. Click allow. Another another folder. Is this this folder? I like if this step does not move forward, hit grant for access and continue. Give full access, you'll notice that the app that your version the app version that you're using is 1.28. That's the one that you need. Be sure to click the toggle on and hit the go back button in the top left button and hit continue. Finished. Okay. So this Quest app switcher also has the mods that you're going to need. I would recommend going to all apps, going to SideQuest, downloading, go to SideQuest, download F. Go back to 
your unknown sources and click on BMBF. If BMBF shows as a white screen for longer than about 20-30 seconds, just click somewhere on the left hand middle side. Close the app. And reopen it. You might have to do it a few times for BMBF to actually So now what we want to do is go to the mods displayed here will be the core mods. You can click the sync to Beat Saber red button now. Click on browser to get additional custom mods and song dependent mods. Confirm that the game version is set to 1.28. Find the mods that you wish to install. I highly recommend Chroma, Map Extensions, and Noodle Extensions. Many songs require these to actually play. Click download for each and then click sync to Beat Saber in the top right. Now click on Beat Saber. You might be prompted to open the app or close the app or restore the app. You just need to click open the app. And that's it. Thanks guys, uh, have a good one. Hello my friends, Bersky here. Today I'll be showing you how to download the SideQuest app to your Quest 2. Begin by going to your Quest app on your phone. For this demonstration, I'll be using an iPhone. First thing you need to do is make sure that your Quest 2 headset is turned on and linked to your side quest. Next, you'll click on Headset Settings and then click on Developer Mode. If Developer Mode is not turned on, you will then click on the Get Started button. The app will then link you to the Developer Sign Up page. First step is to click on the create an organization or company. This can be whatever name you want. In my case, I will be uh, naming mine Bearski Gaming. Once you have entered, click the I understand uh, checkbox, uh, scroll to the right and click submit and then sign the non-disclosure agreement and click I agree. Next, you would go back into the Quest app, click the get started again. It'll take you back to this page. We already have our organization created. So next we will go down to verify your account. From here, since we already verified Quest account, we just had to click sign in and we're good to go. Next, we go back into the Quest app. Refresh the developer settings page by pressing go back and back into developer mode and turn the toggle on. Next, you want to make sure that you have uh, USB to USB-C cable. You can tell it's a USB-C because the smaller end will look exactly the same as your char our charging plug for your Quest 2. If your PC has a data port for USB-C, -C, then you do not need to go purchase one. 
here we have a USB-C on the left, HDMI, and then two USB ports. Plug the USB side into your computer, then plug the USB-C and into your Quest 2. Be sure to look into your headset and click allow for access files. Next, go to SciQuest.com. Now we're going to click on Get SciQuest. We're going to use the Easy Installer. Go ahead and click the link. Give it a few moments, and it will install the program. Once fully installed, click on the program. And then click on the setup guide. Follow the prompts. Confirm that your headset is turned on and properly plugged in. If you do end up unplugging your Quest 2 and plugging it back in, bring the headset up to your face and confirm that uh, the allow connected device to access files is allowed. Once the side quest is authorized successfully, yeah, you can then move on to the final step to install SideQuest onto your headset. Everything will go green and you get a little bit of a celebration confetti. Okay, now that you downloaded the SideQuest app to your headset, what you need to do next is go to the app library, click on search apps, Click on uh, the All button, go all the way down to Unknown Sources, and then click on SideQuest. It will give you a code, and from here you type that into your SideQuest account to link your Quest to your SideQuest account. And you're good to go. Thanks. Have a good one.